comes the axe. Prove yourself. Probably not the best for me to Insanity give more trouble. specifics. He can't get the nature's guys fast enough. He's taking too much damage. Naive blinks forward and gets the first blood. Fair. So it's probably not the best for me to Insanity give more trouble. specifics. He can't get the nature's guys fast enough. He's taking too much damage. Naive blinks forward and gets the first blood. Fair turn. We're gonna watch Koi Fun multiple angles here. Pick up a double damage room. Slayer goes and. Bounty Hunter is not felt super strong so far, in my opinion. He just got like that one kind of early kill for them, but has it. You want to gank this guy, even if you come in a smoke. He just knows if you're there. Yeah. Because the, the walking paths are, are going to be interrupted. Does manage to slow down Boxy, gets that kill, and Sania couldn't get there with a lead. Ready to rest more, though. Got him. Last word on Insania okay. too, with Naive trying to chase him down. They turn around, get the uh, lead seed onto Naive, slowing him down. Boxy's getting a good blink away, but Boxy's taking a lot of damage from just the support. Slayer tries to go for it. Shadow Walk hit. Oh, he stopped to actually hit the clap, and that might have actually gotten him killed. Slayer is going to die in return, though. I feel like he was dead anyway, so because he, yeah. he still had curse. He's actually sneaking around behind the Tier 1 tower, and look at him. Taiga's just making sure that Mickey is the one to get the last hit. What a bro. You guys still thinking about gold ice stopes? <laughs> no. I, I am moderately. I am now. Right, so my, Lil. Oh, we'll talk about it later. Ensnared up, hit by the clap, and that means he is dead. Got that reference? All right. I don't. What? California love, baby. It's another like old song that I <laughs> can't relate to because <laughs> so I don't listen to music super often. Ah, uh, Koipa. Yeah. yeah. Gets double under the sentry ward, but as he moves over to the side and goes invis. No longer spotted. Now goes back into this entry. Realizes it goes, uh oh, I gotta get out of here. But the Golden Blade, they can cut down this tree. And all of a sudden, Insania, he's gonna lose trees to work off of here. Oh, pimp, pimp level observing right now. Well played, but not enough to be able to get the kill. Slayer got dusted up. What was he doing over there? Why were the three heroes there? Is, is the real question. That is a big question, Insania. Healing up off the leech seed. Not enough to get the kill onto Lil, though. But he's going to keep going. Two seconds till his next Leech Seed. He can pop the mango. Turn around. Lil got in range because of that. He turned around to curse. It's a slow. He's already wearing a mantle. <laughs> Look at his picture. Oh, we're going to <laughs> <this> picture. <laughs> we're <laughs> and an invoker. Invoker. <laughs> definitely have a mantle of intelligence. Uh, <laughs> I don't care about ghosting. Mickey almost dies. And all I can think right now is about what you just said, Kevin. Uh, Insania does manage to get a good overgrowth onto Slayer, which will ensure that kill. Two end up dying there on Odium, and they lost their black hole. I literally put a lot of thought into that mantle of intelligence. They're heroes that have mantles. Rubik, Invoker. Tree, playing in that offlane. Looks like he's found the Enigma. We're going to follow top lane where uh, Ox is going to be able to toss these heroes together, trying to get the damage onto Boxy. Doesn't have the mana or the cooldown for Primal Splits. So they try and blow him up with the mana void, and they do get him with the tree toss instead. And they that was kind of uh, the brew picked up a Helm of the Dominator, too. Slightly outdated build, arguably, but super good for pushing towers. Because that's actually one of their big problems this game. Actually, do not have good. Koifa. Got to be slowed down, doesn't have the track on him. Ox does not have the blink up yet, but he will have it soon. Living Armor put onto Koifa as well as a shrine available, so they're not going to go for that. Instead, it's going to be Kai Taiga, who's caught by the tiny combo. Not enough to finish him off, but with the last word silence, making sure there's no cold embrace, they do manage to get that kill. Now, Koifa, Taiga just gave up his life so selflessly to be able to save you, Koifa. Why did you bring yourself back into danger like that? He does get himself killed. Maybe Mikke can finally do something for it. Gets the kill on Ox. Tries to put some damage on Lil as well. Nah. <laughs> it was just an ninja move. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're talking about anymore, Kevin. That, that, that one lost me. It's when you blink. Look, see the little wood? Oh. Anime person. I, I am a normie here. <laughs> Quit trying to shame me. He found it on the, the Naruto wiki. Oh, this is different. This is more intense. Pick off onto the Winter Wyvern. Silencer is traded off as well. Ox is going to try and chase down Boxy. Will is still silenced up. Will manage to get the Malphys straight into the black hole. They are not messing around with Boxy. They do not want to let him get off his primal split. Insania goes for the overgrowth, but now he's just going to be caught as he is... Uh, He's going to be tracked up. Mickey's going to try and come in here. They actually toss the bounty hunter up in the air. It's going to be food for Mickey though, to be able to get that kill. And Insania still... Something 7,000 hands. 
I sort of remember that one now. That is going to be Taiga uh, TPing directly into the three smoke heroes. And a free track kill. I'm really glad that he has this uh, Immortal. The the It really helps you be aware whether or not there it was a track kill before you got it, you know? I see the gold, oh, yes. you know? Ox tries to stick around for the bounty rune, does manage to pick it up, tosses the uh, Brewmaster backwards, gets it. I think he definitely could have killed Silencer there, right? Yeah, it's kind of weird. He only had level two time up, so potentially he could be like mana burned and not get it off, but having uh, this gap close magic burst on Tiny with the Invis Scout, he's just too hard for him to deal with right now. Mickey gets the... Oh, he's going to be Black Hold! Ox is going to... Oh, what a beautiful Winner's Curse to interrupt that Ghost Extend. As a result, they're going to be able to get a really good clap. And Naive, snagged up by Insania, won't be able to blink out of here today. Immediately turns on Holy to Ox, crap. make sure he can't escape either. Mickey. Fortunately for him, he blinked away from uh, the Train Protector. Unfortunately for Taiga, he doesn't have that option. The damage lackings from Alliance, it kind of makes sense. In the river, a man is dead. That man is tiny. But feel free to watch Insania move around. That allowed him to be able to blink away, I believe. And Box, he's still going to be found, though. And even worse, he's going to track on him. Unless a beautiful Winner's Curse comes through, as well as the Living Arbor to be able to keep that Brewmaster alive. Insania running up into the high ground, finds Ox, turns around, Rod of Atos, and dusts it immediately. Ox managed to get a nice avalanche in, but the Cold Brace will be able to save Insania. And now Ox is taking a ton of damage from both Koifa as well as Mikke. Black Hole goes out, barely catching Mikke in the process, but he's already got his BKB out, so he doesn't take that much damage. Ghost Sticks ripped apart by all of the illusions. And Tempest he got blinks just as the tiny jumps on top of him. Zania thought it about going for the overgrowth. Great winner's curse. That's going to be a pickoff on the bounty hunter. He sits off on that high ground. They do manage to get the same in this game. It is definitely one aspect. It might just be the position of the game. Like, maybe it's just because they don't need it. Tree is a very poor tree, man. Slayer spotted, naive, kills Boxy. If they can uh, they can actually get some sort of fight here. Maybe an Odium can. Oh, the blink forward, the black hole. It's actually controlling up the Weaver. They blow him up. That's a godlike. They didn't use A multi. Yeah. Just right clicks. Black hole. Midnight. How did he know? Because they killed the ward. It's probably similar timing. Maybe, yeah, it must have. Like, the ward's gone now, but. It's though. We do have the Tiny who's running into some heroes here. Looks like he ran into the Arc Warden or the Tempest somebody. Double. Let's go over to the Shrine, baby! That's where the action is! Ox tries to get some damage in. Naive has already been orchided up. Ox is slowed down, and Mickey's going to go for him. Ox does spot him thanks to the track, but he can't really do anything to stop this. Ox is dead. Scythe the Vice now picked up for the Koipfa. Arc Warden. He's going to find the immediate initiation onto Naive. Follow up overgrowth. Naive doesn't have the uh, Manta. Still is going to be orchided up as well. They do manage to get the BKB blink away. About to find out is uh, we are going to have Odium running into Box. He does manage to get the initiation immediately onto Abyssal Blade. Bounce back. Doors. And now with the Black Hole immediately canceled by the Winner's Curse. Taiga in great position. Ghost is already dead. Ox is down to half HP as well with the Scythe Device on him. The Overgrowth onto Naive after he BKB. He's controlled up the second Scythe Device placed onto him. He's trying to be able to get the Blink away. Does manage to get it, but Mickey is still hot on Pursuit. Will be able to get some more damage. Another Blink away. He is out. Mickey cannot chase him that far. So instead, they're going to go back to... Uh, Bounty Hunter, who's going to be the third death of this team fight for ODM. All three of them do not. 34 to 20, 6,000 gold lead for Alliance. We're currently trying to kill Lil. Mickey, thanks to the nullifier, does a lot of damage to Lil, but Lil has still had the Orchid on him. He got Just forcing a little something out of him. Both of them realizing what's happening. And they're wrapping back in! Oh. Nice kill on Taiga. Now Naive just in. He needs to be able to get a bash to be able to stop Mickey. He gets the bash at the right time, but Mickey is still able to get away. Winter's Curse laid down onto Ghost Stick. Of course, that's trying to get him away from his fellow ally, Naive, who's immediately nullified as that Winter's Curse fades. So Naive isn't going to be able to get the BKB, but no silence. So he managed to blink himself away out of there. Go if Mickey pops oh, wow. the nullifier back on him or something, 
Ox spots him. He's gonna be able to get the chain stun. Oh, he tossed the enemy up in the air. It may not matter though. They need to be able to get the bash, the cold embrace, plus the winner's curse laid onto Ox. It's gonna fade oh. pretty quickly, and Mickey still died. He didn't manage to get up the time lapse or anything there. Now the primal split going he in. Managed to get the nullifier. He bought back on Mickey. Can't afford to die here. He popped the nullifier back onto himself. Managed to get the e cheese though. He's gonna be good. Now he blinks himself backwards. Slayer. He's gonna be saved there for a moment, but he still ends up dying. Lil's gonna fall as well. Naive comes back in trying to get the bash on. Incredible teleport. <laughs> uh, oh, just somebody a died. That is the Witcher Mine area. Ghostic leading the charge here with his black hole. Box is going to try and jump onto him. Manage to get the nullifier on him. Ghost is almost going to die immediately. He does still have the Orchid on him. He should pop, and sure enough, he does. Lil's going to be the next target. He's already dead as well. Ghostic buys back, but Naive went in, got the Winter Wyvern. He's going to go for the next one. It's going to be the real Koifa. That is not a Tempest double. That's a real thing, and that thing's dead. He does have a buyback, though. Ox tries to throw up uh, Animage in the air. Missed out on Mickey, who's hoping to be able to disable. He still tried to chase him. He actually managed to get him. The Weaver chased down. Looks like with the help of Blinky go going in. for Box, he managed to get the Abyss of Blades, Ghostic following up, Taiga managed to get a really good Winner's Curse that grabs Naive, forces him onto Ghostic, and Ghostic will die at the last half second there.